you talk a lot about climbing the ladder and uh, me we and talk about humans thinking that they're climbing the ladder we never encourage you to get on one <laughs> beam me up Scotty um, or the ideal of you can't go from a non-satisfied place to a satisfied place without taking the baby steps or first becoming general well in that thought of getting from example angry mad or any state of not satisfied to hope is good is there a more effective way besides the daily practice practice of said meditation said aligning said refocusing to get to that state from hope to knowing slash believing in the ideal that believing is a thought that you keep thinking so what's the most effective way to get from I've jumped to hope now I want to get to the knowing of it the believing of it where I'm out ahead of it before it has manifested in my life it's a really good question the most important thing that we want to say to you is that you are where you are so if something has happened and you're having a reaction to it you are vibrationally where you are and anything that you can do to improve the way you feel right now is effective and it has to be enough because it's all you can do but today we're really emphasizing in this conversation the extraordinary difference between working your way up the emotional scale and quieting your mind and taking a quantum leap over there to where your inner being already is it's standing back far enough to acknowledge that your inner being is there and that you are your inner being and that you don't have to struggle your way up the emotional scale if you just let go what are the words that we were offering satisfied being satisfied with yourself I'm not mad at myself in this struggle right now I know I would rather know than just hope and I sure don't like to have doubt but when you beat up on yourself about what you don't know then you're not satisfied where you are and now the gap is a harder one and so it's just playing with it every day Esther does focus wheels because every day she recognizes a vibration that could be better and often a focus wheel will take her quickly there especially if she catches it early but there is nothing that gets her out ahead of it better than waking up and before anything else happens before she visits with someone before she reads her email before she starts receiving texts before she remembers anything from before if the first thing she does is set herself into a comfortable place and just quiet her mind and tune to the higher frequency this day is dominantly better every single time we just cannot emphasize that enough now does that mean that the other tools are irrelevant no because you can't always go into meditation sometimes you got to deal with what's coming right at you sometimes you need to count to ten and look for positive aspects in this arena or in this person where there is not one evident positive aspect <laughs> sometimes you just don't want to make it worse and sometimes you just want to walk away you come to understand what works best for you and sometimes it's this process and sometimes it's this one and sometimes it's this one and sometimes it's this one but you're at the vibrational place now we can feel you understand this you are speaking our words and our processes back to us as well as Esther speaks them out to you you're understanding this and so what you're grappling with here a little bit is that you haven't been able to maintain always being tuned in tapped in turned on as if you think that's the way it should be and that's not ever the way it's gonna be while you're here in this physical body you're always gonna have some gap it's the way you feel about the gap that this conversation is about so if you accept that you are always going to be while you're in this physical form you are always going to be incomplete and reaching for more and that's all right with you then so much of that angst will go away step one is full of all of that stuff all of your creating is done in step one and step one is full of contrast and all of your creating is done in step one and step one is full of contrast and all of your creating is done in step one and step one is full of contrast and all of your creating is done in step one <laughs> and step one is full of contrast isn't it time that you give yourself a break creator 
and that you accept that step one is necessary to the creative process and it's not something for me to be embarrassed about or shamed of or even something for me to overcome because if I didn't see this abhorrent thing I wouldn't have put this magnificent thing into my vortex and future generations would be deprived of the insight that this gave me to put there and so it's about accepting the perfection of who you are humans for so long no matter what platform you were born into have been taught for a long time to accept your imperfection and to repent for it and to overcome it and we want you to embrace the contrast that produces the expansion because we are eternal beings we want you to find a way to love yourself no matter what the way your inner being does and in any moment that you're not doing that feels bad that's what guilt feels like or shame or even hope has got a little flex of that not liking myself and so when you look at the big picture and you feel the resonance that so many of you are feeling right now about who you really are and why you're here and you get off that service kick you're not here to fix a broken world it is not broken and you're not here to redeem yourself about something because no redemption is being required your inner being accepts you as the perfect being that you are perfect and ever-changing and nobody else needs to be fixed either they all have their own relationship with their own reason for being here and their own relationship with their own inner being and yet isn't it nice to feel strong about something isn't it nice for something to happen that makes you have a strong feeling about it and oh there's nothing better than a contrasting experience making you feel strong about something than lining up with what you've created lining up with the strong and so when the world looks like it's coming apart and your desire is not that it come together because it will never come apart your desire is to know the perfection of this unfolding if you were watching a play-by-play -play, we're talking about really slow 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 time-lapse photography of a seed becoming in the ground it would look chaotic to you as it gives way to the new and 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 gives way to the new in other words if you were watching it infinitesimally if you were watching the forming of a fetus in a mother's womb and the cellular evolution that is taking place it would be unsettling to you in its perfection and the same thing is happening with this magnificent being that you are continuing to become and the world that you are sharing with others it's perfection in its unfolding you just got to decide that that's the way you see it so that you feel ease about it so that you're called to your becoming rather than prodding yourself there and most of all now we're going to get down to some nitty-gritty if we were standing in your physical shoes and this is really what we wish for you this is our desire for you we're going to speak it from your point of view I want to talk to fewer people about stuff I want to just be more generally accepting of what's going on and stop sweating the small stuff ad nauseum I want to step back and look at the perfection of this evolutionary time and space this planet spinning in perfect proximity to other planets and understanding the big thoughts that are part of that and I want to tune into that big thinking that big thinking that is trusting and loving and sure I want to stand in the feeling of love mostly and I will never appreciate the feeling of love within me more than when I've hated a little bit over here <laughs> and so I bless the rascals that I easily hate on my way to feeling the relief of coming into the wholeness of who I am you all make too much of all of it there's just nothing serious going on here
you came not for redemption or to save anything you came because you're creators and that's what creators do and you came because it's joyful to create and you came because when an idea hatches within you it feels really good and when that idea becomes more that feels even better and when you stand in a place of understanding how the cooperative components of the universe are all descending around you that they are coming to you by the powerful law of attraction and you are standing in full vivid lucid witnessing of the things that are coming together for you and you're reveling in the perfection of life and of yourself and you're feeling proud of yourself and eager for more that's what you came for you see and you didn't come to teach anyone else a lesson or to get them there before they're ready to be there any more than you would want to encourage that kernel of corn to come out and be a stalk and then an ear of corn before it's ready to be in other words you just accept the perfection of the process and do your best to make dominant the larger part of yourself who knows all of this and you just revel in love and wince a little in hate and revel in clarity and don't like confusion so much and watch for the next opportunity and the next one and the next one and the next one and your dominant mantra to the universe is I am to live happily ever after I am to live happily ever after not I'm to accomplish this and I'm to accomplish this because the goal that you're reaching for the eternal symbol or recognition of success is that joyful intertwining with who you are and when you are in that conscious intertwining with who you are when you are consciously intertwined with the consciousness that is you that conscious intertwining you are love for yourself for the situation for the others that's just as good as it gets in short don't sweat the small stuff and it all is it all is it all is everything that is of a physical nature is small stuff in relationship to the relationship that you have with this energy so now we're not trying to talk you into leaving the physical and meditating yourself into this oblivion mist of non-physical we're encouraging you to release enough resistance that you can feel you're tuned in and then give your undivided attention to stuff that interests you here stuff that interests you here paint it and make the money and do the travel and make love to each other and enjoy the life that you are living enjoy the life that you're living but do it from that place of connection to source because you haven't spent money until you've spent money with source and you haven't made love until you've made love with source and you haven't witnessed the beauty of the planet until you've done it in connection with source get tuned in tapped in turned on and live like you intended to live